everybody, it's Bradley Phillips here over at Fieldo Boats and today I am on Regal's 2000 ESX and I will be going over how to properly open a bimini and then reclose it to show you guys how easy it is. Um, there are two different types of towers that Regal produces. It's a, the power tower and then there's the S2 power tower. I do have both of those in stock here and I just wanted to go over, like I said earlier, um, how to open and reclose them in case you guys have any questions. You can refer back to this video and hopefully it will help you. So on this power tower, the first thing you got to do is open up your boot. So I'm going to go ahead and start by doing that. Got two zippers. Once that is open, you take it off. Then it's going to drop down. Now I have two straps on each side. Those will come into play later. But first, we're going to go ahead and deploy it on the sliding track. I got a sliding track over here on this side as well as over here on this side and I need to simultaneously do them together or it's not going to work. One side will get stuck and then you can't do the other side so you have to do them together. So to start I'm going to go ahead and push this pin and I'm just going to raise it just a little bit above that push pin right there. Now I have to do it on this side to make it a little bit easier for myself. Once it's released now what I want to do is go ahead and pull it up past this second push down pin right here. And then I'm going to push the other side in between these pins. So now I'm going to pull the back half back. Now I have two hinges up at the top of the tower where I'm going to take these short legs on the sliding track and I'm going to take these short legs and put them in the top piece. I got to first unlock this by taking this silver pin out. Now I'm going to take the leg off the long leg. In order to put it in, I have to pull down to release some of that tension. So I'm going to slide it in through the top and it's going to slide in. Next I have to put this locking pin back in there. Just make sure it doesn't fly out while we're on the lake. And then I'm going to repeat that process on the left side. Pull down to release some of that tension. It'll slide right in there. take these short legs on the back on the very back again I'm gonna pull down to release some tension I'm gonna start at the bottom and then slide it up to the top and I'm gonna put that pin in and I'm gonna reverse that process on this side take my pin out pull down release some tension Since I have the power tower tilted at an angle, to finish it off with these straps, I have to lift it all the way up. You're going to hear that clicking. That's how you know you're completely done. Now you're going to take your strap, and there's a silver buckle on, on the outside of the boat. So you're going to take your buckle, pull down to pull some tension on it, and then you're going to snap it in. So now that I got the tower completely deployed, I'm going to take this strap and then there's this silver piece on the outside of the boat and this strap is just an extra support just in case it's a very choppy day at the lake this strap will help give another extra support in the front of the frame on each side now i'm going to show you guys how to stow it so we got these straps on so that's going to be the first thing that i'm going to do in order to stow it i'm going to pull down to release some of that tension on there i'm going to clip it off i'm just going to let it dangle for a few seconds I'm going to come to the back and I'm going to take these shorter legs out of the frame. I've got to pull down to release some of that tension, wiggle it out of there, and then go ahead and clip it onto that other leg up there. Take your silver locking pin out, pull down to release some of that tension, and this one should just slide right out of there. Now up here, I'm going to take this one out, pull down to release some of that tension, it's going to pull right up through the top of it. Now you're going to slide this sliding track all the way back down to these locking pins. But you got to do it simultaneously or it's not going to go. Then you're going to come to the front and just shimmy it on down. Get it into the middle of those locking pins. Collapse this one. 
Now I take these straps and I wrap it around just so it pulls them together and then I clip it to itself. That way it's a little bit easier to put your bimini boot back on. snaps on each side so you just want to make sure that those are snapped in. Pull it down, just make it a little bit easier for you. Stuff everything in there. And then to end it, Go ahead and snap those snaps in there. Hey guys, I'm on Regal's LS2. Um, earlier in the video, we talked about a S2 tower, and this is it on this LS2. It is a powder-coated tower, rather than that 1900 I was on earlier. It has a fiberglass tower. They're both power towers, but the legs and placements on this tower is a little bit different. I will be making a separate video on how to deploy those and scale those also. If you guys have any questions, Feel free to comment below and I will get back to you. Thanks for checking out the video at Phil